that I do apologise for my colleague there, Catherine Delahante, for trying to um, jump into her slot. Uh, but, Mr Speaker, can I first uh, acknowledge our rangatira who have uh, turned up here into the House from Ngāti Tapu, me uh, Ngai Tama Rawaho, uh, e te rangatira, ko tai mai, tēnei te mi aroha ki a koutou, ko tai mai. Uh, Mr Speaker, um, it is always a privilege to stand and support a third reading of a treaty settlement bill. And uh, like all the previous speakers, it's a great day for the hapu of Tauranga Moana in seeing that this land is re being returned to the original owners. And uh, Mr Speaker, as a, a proud member of the Māori Select Committee, um, the, the way in which this bill uh, was championed by um, uh, colleague uh, Tūruro Flavel, Tēnē Te Mihi Ki Aukwe, Te Rangatira, and handled by the Māori Select Committee. It's one of those proud moments um, that you can stand there and celebrate, but you cannot imagine what it feels like for the people that have joined us here in the gallery and those who are at home. In terms of the returns, uh, that the, the returning of this land is going to do for the people of Tauranga Moana. Uh, Mr Speaker, in my... Uh, earlier contribution, I did talk around uh, particular submitters that uh, felt themselves excluded, Ngai Tū Kairangi, but again, um, through the generosity, or actually not the generosity, the reality of our shared whakapapa, uh, that those descendants of that particular tipuna is recognised uh, through its link through Ngāti Tapu. And so, um, I'm a big believer, Mr Speaker, that uh, uh, Māori, iwi Māori, hapu iwi, uh, ways of dealing with um, uh, challenges is, is to go back to our whakapapa. And so Mr. I acknowledge in the passing of this bill the importance of that uh, to ensure that we have, uh, see the passage of this third bill. Um, Mr Speaker, um, I just want to take a bit of time to, to divert and pick up from what the uh, Green member, uh, Catherine uh, Delahante, spoke about, and that's in relation to the church missionary societies in shaping or um, influencing uh, the fabric of Aotearoa New Zealand in terms of the early missionaries. And like we've seen in this particular bill, um, the establishment of this post and the acquisition uh, de definitely uh, can be challenged whether it was lawful, um, have had a huge impact, uh, Mr Speaker, on all parts of Aotearoa New Zealand and uh, in my area, my electorate of Ikaro Rafati, um, uh, Te Ote College, Hukarere, uh, we also have St Joseph's, uh, are, are schools that have been touched by uh, Christianity, uh, are founded in their princ principles, uh, values uh, around Christianity, um, but for a lot of those schools, if you uh, visit them, and I encourage members to, to visit both uh, Te Otea and, and Hukarere, great schools that produced great leaders. Um, but uh, though they've got endowment land attached to them, they, they, sh they are struggling to keep the maintenance of the hostel areas. And on the one side, I'm seeing uh, the church missionary society um, sitting on huge uh, economic opportunities in terms of land that was gifted for the purpose of education so many years ago. And so my contribution, uh, Minister, is to support uh, the, the cry or the, the plea in this House that let this gifting back to the people of Tauranga Moana be the catalyst, be the catalyst for the return of missionary land uh, gifted by hapu and iwi so many years ago that it should quite rightly come back to the original owners so that the original owners can enjoy the economic, the social, the spiritual, the environmental returns that land gifted back to the rightful people quite rightly uh, creates. And so, Mr Speaker, um, I don't want to go too much longer. This is an exciting time. I'm honoured uh, to support all members in the House uh, in this third reading, 
Um, and I do, in all sincerity, uh, wish the, the people of Tauranga Moana a very safe journey home. Uh, you have done your deed. You have seen this passage of this important bill uh, pass in its third and final reading, and I celebrate your success and the people that you represent here for the gifting of what I know is an important piece of whenua to the people of Tauranga Moana. Nō reira, Mr Speaker. Um, I uh, stand again and support the third reading of this House. Kia ora tato. I call the Honourable Member, Andrew Williams. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Kia ora, talofa lava, and uh, greetings to you.